so we have a hyperbola g of x given as minus 4 divided by x minus 1 plus 2 and then the first equation 5.1 is saying let's write down the equations of the asymptotes of g so g of x is equals to minus 4 divided by x minus 1 plus 2 but then what is the general formula of a hyperbola the general formula of a hyperbola f of x is equals to a divided by x plus p plus q we need the vertical asymptote and the horizontal asymptote so the vertical asymptote is given by x is equals to minus p and the horizontal asymptote is given by y is equals to q so let's look at our equation g of x and determine minus p and q right so let's start with q because it's pretty much straightforward right we just have plus two so the horizontal asymptote will be y is equals to two and now let's come to the vertical asymptote uh, we need x to be equals to something so let's go to our equation g of x right we have x minus one here and we say that the equation must be x is equals to minus p so p in our equation is minus one so that tells us that uh, minus p will be positive one right so we have x being equals to one so we have our horizontal asymptote uh, which is y is equals to 2 and our vertical asymptote which is x is equals to 1. Uh, another way of determining uh, the vertical asymptote you can just see uh, x minus 1 is equals to 0 so x is equals to 1. Uh, 5.2 says uh, let's determine the intercepts of the graph of g with the axis right so we need the intercepts we have two intercepts the y intercept and the x intercept let's start with the y intercept so y intercept what do we know about y intercept we know fully well that for the y intercept x is equals to zero right so we take our equation g of x and let x be equal to zero and we solve for y right so y will be equals to minus 4 divided by x minus 1 in place of x we put 0 because we want the y intercept so we have 0 minus 1 plus 2 so y will be equals to minus 4 divided by minus 1 uh, plus 2 so that will be equals to uh, minus 4 divided by minus 1 that is just 4 right plus 2 is equals to 6 so the y intercept is the coordinate uh, for x we know we need 0 and then for y we have 6 so that is our y intercept now let's move forward and do the x intercept so x intercept y is equals to 0 right so in place of y we put 0 and we solve for x so we're gonna have 0 is equals to minus 4 divided by x minus 1 plus 2 we just substitute in uh, y is equals to 0 on our equation g of x right we have minus 2 is equals to minus 4 divided by x minus 1 you just subtract minus 2 on both sides if we cross multiply now we're going to get minus 2x plus 2 is equals to minus 4 right so we're going to have minus 2x being equals to minus 6 so x is equals to 3 so our point uh, for the y intercept would be 3 for x and 0 for y and then we have our x intercept let's move to 5.3 5.3 uh it's saying let's sketch the graph of g uh, show all intercepts with the axis as well as the asymptotes of the graph so when you sketch in a parabola you basically just need the intercepts and the asymptotes after you get those right you cannot go wrong so let's 
uh, have our x-axis and see what we can do here so we have our x-axis and then we have our y-axis right and then uh, let's start with uh, the equations of the asymptotes we know that uh, the vertical asymptote we have x is equals to one right so here at one uh, we're supposed to have a vertical asymptote and then uh, the horizontal asymptote we have y is equals to two so here at two we're supposed to have our vertical um, asymptote and there we have it now let's have our intercepts right our intercepts basically determine where uh, the wings so to say of our parabola lies right so intercepts we have uh, x is equals to 3 so here at 3 we have um, our intercept right so one wing must cut here at 3 and then for y we have y is equals to 6 so here at 6 we must have a wing cutting through so how can we possibly so how can we now construct our graph we know fully well that part of our graph must cut through three right and then we must not touch the asymptotes and then the other part should go through um six but we should not touch our asymptote so this is how we construct our parabola in this instance